Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia. Here on my channel, I love all things affordable fashion, beauty, and fragrance. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, fragrance rankings, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. Elephant in the room, the voice is still jacked. <laughs> I don't know if I sound kind of like Scarlett Johansson, that's what I'm trying to tell myself, um, or that I just, I, I don't know, you guys, my, my voice is shot. I'm almost on a week now. I'm starting to think, am I ever gonna get it back? Is this just my voice now? If you watch my, if you're new, this is not my voice. If you watch my older videos, you're gonna be like, that is a totally different voice. Yes, it is, it is bizarre. But I've got I've got stuff to film. This girl cannot stay down, uh-uh. I gotta, I gotta keep moving on. So, sniff, you guys, I've been promising, I think since I had six fragrances that I was going to do a ranking, and then I kind of kept purchasing them, and now I have 10, and I was like, this is time. Before I buy another one, and we've got an odd number, let's go ahead and rank these 10. Um, I did have a previous video quite a while back where I think I only had four, and that I think that I ranked, but now I've got 10. Right, so, so let's go ahead and get into this ranking, and I will say, all of these are likes, to loves towards the bottom they're more likes towards the top they're loves and none of these are bad so even my number 10 i like all right so coming in at number 10 is tart deco now the reason why this one is a like and not a love for me sometimes in fragrance i will smell something and i'm like craving something more and sometimes i can't put my finger on what it is and sometimes i can and with this one, I'm like, I like it, but it's like I could love it, but it's missing something. What I think Tarte Deco is missing is some kind of smokiness. Something in here, maybe if it even had like some cinnamon, um, maybe even like a smoke accord, something like that. I have layered this with Replica by the Fireplace and it is a banger. Like. This is a great layering fragrance, by the way. It is cherry. Um, it does have sandalwood. Most sniffs have sandalwood in the base. Not all of them recently, but a lot of them have a similar base to them. And so you do get some of that sandalwood. You get an ever so slight woodiness. And then to me, I just get like a cherry pie filling out of a can. Um, that sort of cherry. I know it's trying to kind of go in that lost cherry um vibe but it's like this one could have been great it's just not complete it's like it's not well rounded i'm like i wanted them to go back to the lab add something else in this to just punch it up even like a peppery note and i'm always i'm not always a pepper especially pink pepper i like black pepper a lot i think like a top note like that could have really taken this to a different place so i like it I just think it could be better, but if you're looking for an easy cherry fragrance, if you don't like a smoky cherry, you want kind of like a cherry pie filling sort of fragrance, and maybe you want it to be um, something you could layer with, then I would recommend it. So number 10 is Tarte Deco. Coming in at number nine is Vanilla Vice. Now, this is one that I was pretty disappointed in because I had already grown to love Sniff, and I was very, very excited when I saw this advertise because they really leaned into like an ice cream sort of vibe, like a dripping ice cream cone, vanilla bean, you know. And to me, I get a little bit of that, but the vanilla kind of wears off and you have more of this sort of creamy sandalwood going on in here, which is great for people that don't love vanilla. But... This is another one that was missing something for me. I don't get vanilla ice cream at all out of this. Like at all, there's nothing milky about this vanilla whatsoever. It's more of a sandalwood, um, a musky sandalwood with the vanilla top note that isn't really even my favorite sort of vanilla, but I like it. Um, again, this is another one that I love to layer with. And it actually, is decent with Tarte Deco. You kind of just get like a vanilla cherry sandalwood scent with it. So again, it, I think it was more the advertising that threw me off with this and I was expecting something different. 
Coming in at number eight is Coco Shimmy. This is one of, one of my newer ones, not my newest. And this is their summer scent. And I had a lot of hopes for this one. Again, I do really like this one a lot. It's just that I have some others um, by other houses and brands that are sort of in this sunscreeny, coconut, pineapple-y vibe that I like better, that I think are executed a little bit better. There's almost something buttery about this. Um, it's it's kind of strange. It almost smells like a coconut um, pineapple butter, which, which does sound very, very strange when I say that out loud. Um, the pineapple is a little bit more of a backseat in this. I get more of the coconut, but there is a pineapple in the background with this sort of butteriness and you do get somewhat of that sunscreen. I don't think this is a strong sunscreen vibe. Um, not as strong as some others, like say Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. That is definitely a sunscreen vibe scent or even Vacation by Vacation is more sunscreeny than this one. Um, maybe it's that, this says it's surfboard wax is like a note in this. And I don't know if they meant that literally or if they meant that sort of like an imaginary note or like an accord. Maybe that's a buttery thing in here. Um, I like it. I just have others like it that I like better. So that's why it is number eight. At number seven, we have Sweet Ash. And this is kind of getting into ones that I, like, I really, really like. So Sweet Ash is a gorgeous sort of woody, the ash, like you do kind of smell like almost like ashes with this. It's not incredibly smoky. Um, that sweetness cuts in a little bit. I mean, it's called sweet ash. So just kind of imagine um, you're at a campfire. There's some like pine, around, there's juniper in this. So um, you kind of have that like piney, like a green mountainy sort of like scent in the air with some like smoldering ashes and then just a little like sweetness around it because there is vanilla in here um i really love this one actually um so i said a like maybe this one should be higher now that i'm smelling it again i think because it's summertime i haven't been wearing it as much it's not too heavy for summer but this is definitely more of like come alive fall winter um so yeah man this one is really really good if you want like a lighter sweeter woody sort of scent not like a too masculine or too overpowering definitely recommend sweet ash at number six we have crumb couture i'm trying to think if this was my first i think this was my first sniff um this one got hyped up it was like everyone was talking about it this is what really caught my attention um this is also like height of you know gourmands were going nuts and this one is, I, I did a video on this one. So I do remember saying, and I stand by it. This is like an experience of, you know, getting like your croissant, your pastry, your scone. You've got like a little bit of, of blackberry jam. Um, and then you like step outside and it's just crisp and cold. A little bit of that woodiness in the base, but it's very much a gourmand. Um, but I, I don't think it's too gourmet. I know some were like, I don't want to smell like a, a scone or a croissant. I don't know. I think that the sandalwood and the base of this, um, and then the, um, the tonka in here, it just makes it really smooth and really wearable. In my opinion, this is another one that I really like layered as well. Like something cinnamon, something like savory cinnamon smoky cut in with this. I think it's just like a ball of deliciousness. Like your scent bubble is just, mm. and this I would say is more like, again, fall, winter. I think most gourmands are a little bit, um, I, you just, I don't know, in the heat and the sun, like you'll smell a little too like sick if you smell food like. Um, I think it's a wearable fragrance for sure. I remember saying there was something about the dry down of this that reminded me of REM um, by Ariana Grande. And it's not that the notes are the same in there, but there is a perfumey element to this, I think, 
that keeps it from being just straight smelling like food. Um, I think it's quite, quite, quite lovely. Okay, at number five, this is a love. And I thought about putting this, seriously, I, th I think I could interchange my top five. Because it's summer, I was like, oh, I'll put this at number five, but like winter, I could put this at number one. And this is honestly not the highest reviewed scent from them, but this is House of Eight. And this is the most masculine, like traditionally masculine fragrance, I believe that Sniff has, or at least out of the ones that I have. This is also, I said, um, I think I said on TikTok or something, I said, this is what a vampire would wear. Um, I'll probably do a video like that, come closer to October, like vampire fragrances. What the hell does that even mean? I just mean kind of dark, mysterious, a little bit dangerous, a little bit sexy. Um, I love this one. It is aromatic. It is woody. Um, did I say it's called House of Eight? I think I said House of Eight. So it has a, ch a cocoa chocolate, has a lavender, um, clary sage, and I have grown to, I am a, like, I love aromatic. I love lavender and I love sage. Like it's almost a guarantee. Let's so just totally mess up a fragrance. I'm gonna really, really like it. Um, it's not for everyone, but gosh, for men, yes. For niche lovers, yes, because I think out of all of their fragrances, this is the most like high-end niche smelling to me, the most interesting, the most unique. Um, I love it. There's also like the sandalwood woodiness in the base. Ugh, I just, I've worn this on a cold day several times back in the fall and winter. And I was just like, I feel like a lady of the night. Like I'm gonna go up and just bite someone's neck, but then I'm gonna kiss you afterwards and we're gonna smell good together. It's so sexy. I personally really, really love it. Maybe not a safe blind buy, but if you're one of my more like nuanced fragrance people, or you like something slightly more like unisex, maybe leaning slightly masculine, I would highly recommend House of Eight. At number four is my newest fragrance, and I have a video on this already um, if you want to check it out, but it is Rose Era, and this was a collab, and this is the most um, not sniff fragrance that I have. What I mean by that is I mentioned that they all have this, or most of them have this sandalwood in the base, like a very signature scent to wear if you didn't tell me and I just blind smelled it, I would know it was a sniff fragrance. This does not have that signature base to it. It does not have sandalwood in the base. This is a fruity rose fragrance, but like a very dewy, juicy, soft petal young rose um, with that strawberry. And the strawberry is subtle, like there's fruitiness in there, but I don't think if you didn't know this had strawberry, I don't know if you'd smell it and be like that strawberry. It just has a sort of tart fruitiness that takes a back seat to the rose in here, but it's not like a um, an old lady rose. It's not an overbearing rose. It's blended very beautifully. And I mentioned in my video that it actually reminds me of the more like kind of delicate feminine sister of Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. Coral Fantasy is a little bit more like punchy, a little bit more like edgy, while this is more delicate and soft. It's really, really beautiful. And if I'm like looking at my sniff fragrances and I'm like, I'm not in the mood for like the sandalwood today. This is what I would reach for. Okay, coming in at number three is Citrus Circus. I stinking love this fragrance so much. So it is, I believe, dreamsicle or like orange sickle, creamsicle, something like that, that they say is the citrus in here. I wouldn't really necessarily know that. I would think it could be lemon. I could think almost could be lime, could be orange. Like it's it's kind of nondescript to my nose when I smell it, but I definitely get that citrus. And then I get a gorgeous woodiness with this and it's blended so beautifully. Um, the sandalwood and the base. I think this is the perfect woody fragrance for all year round because with that citrus cutting into it, you could really wear this summer, spring, it not be too heavy,
but then even in fall and winter, it's kind of creamy and smooth and like a little bit dense. It's not like a, say, um, Dolce & Gabbana light blue where that has this sort of, yes, it's got like a cedar and like a, you know, woodiness to it, but it kind of has this like misty feel to the fragrance. Like it didn't feel dense, whereas this is a little bit more dense. Not too much for spring and summer, but enough where like, it just works beautifully in the fall and the winter. And then with that citrus in it too, it's beautiful. I love it so much. Um, definitely one of my favorite citrus fragrances that isn't just like every other citrus. All right, number two is Heal the Way. This is another collab fragrance. This is a pistachio fragrance. This is also another one that doesn't have that signature sniff base to it so it definitely feels like it's on its own even though it's a sniff fragrance and what's crazy to me is when i smell this out of the bottle and when it first gets on my skin i smell the most beautiful cinnamon but there is no cinnamon listed in this davana is listed in here um, as a base not as a top note so once it dries i don't really smell it so i'm confused i don't know if it's the davana that i'm smelling in here um, that can be like sort of like a spicy, savory, fruity sort of scent. So I'm like, is that the cinnamon that I'm smelling? Um, it also has Palo Santo and, um, Amber. So I'm like, maybe it's like the mix made that, you know, Amber is warm and sometimes it can be a little spicy. So I'm like, maybe that mixture is making the cinnamon for me. It, to me, it smells mostly like a cinnamon vanilla with a hint of pistachio. I honestly, the pistachio, I get it in the beginning. It definitely wears off and this becomes more of an ambery vanilla. That's beautiful by the way. But the pistachio, I, I don't get a ton of it, even though I know everyone calls this a pistachio fragrance. Um, but it also makes it unique as a pistachio fragrance too. Like it is not like all your other typical ones that you hear about. It's not like the KLE. Um, it is not like in the Sol de Janeiro. It is, this is refined. It's elegant. It's soft and comforting. I mean, Heal the Way is the name for this. And a lot of people talk about this being a very like healing, comforting fragrance for them. Um, I know I have a friend, um, the fragrance doctor, like she loves this for a nighttime fragrance and i agree i wore this um to go to bed not too long ago and i was like oh i see what she's talking about like towards the end it almost just kind of feels like you're being like hugged by this warm vanilla cloud it is really really beautifully done um i think this is maybe a slept on too by those that don't know about it or that haven't tried sniff um, or even like all my vanilla lovers out there like this is an elevated elegant vanilla that i think that you should try all right and coming into my number one is soda snob you guys this is just a happy fragrance for me so i have a video on this where i reviewed it and i also talked about some of my other soda fragrances that are by other brands in there and this really stands on its own though. I mean, up against some of the like heavy hitter, um, you know, like the one that comes to mind is Tonka Cola by Mansara. That is a like strong cola and a pretty like well-known, a little bit divisive one, um, a little bit more difficult wear than this one. This is a very cinnamon vanilla soda sort of fragrance. Um, I think it's a very easy wear for a niche leaning type of profile as well. If you haven't dabbled in niche or even gourmand, this is a fairly safe one. I'm not saying you're gonna love it, but to try something new without going too crazy, because I feel like it's, it's very, very wearable. And it's also beautiful spring and summer when I've had it, but I think it's going to absolutely come to life in fall and winter. I actually recommended to my friend Kelly, um, Whiff of Waffle Cone by Imaginary Authors. I said, I 
that that would be a gorgeous combo. She's already tried it and was like, you were right. It's amazing. Um, I haven't worn that combo yet because it's been just a little too hot for me to, to do that because I think it's just going to be a little too heavy, um, maybe too cloying for summer, but I think fall and winter, that's going to be amazing. I think replica by the fireplace with this would be gorgeous. Um, I get so much like fizzy bubbliness out of this. Um, and then also just like a smooth vanilla to it as well. And like a little bit of like something sort of smoky in it, but I think that's really just the cinnamon. I just think it was so fun. I love, this is their like sister brand where they do more edgy out of the box like the pizza slice one as well which I didn't get that one I'm so curious I haven't heard much about that um slice society is what that one's called but soda snob was an absolute hit for me I feel like I can wear this year round um I think it's also just like a way to do niche but be accessible and have it in in places where more people get their eyes on it and at a pretty affordable price i will say because i know i'm going to be asked about longevity with all of these honestly they're not the most long lasting they're about a four hour maybe six when you spray your clothing really well um to me I would say I don't mind that. I always purchase my sniff fragrances either from Ulta with a coupon or the coupon code from Sniff's website. So I never pay more than like 50, $55 for these. And to me, I think that's fine for a four to six hour wear. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're someone that only wants like a 12 hour smell it the next day, well, it's probably not going to happen with these unless you really, really douse your clothing with it. But if that doesn't really bother you and you're good with the four to six hour and the price point, I think is so good. So fun. I love this house so much. They are pumping them out too. So I can't wait to see what they come out with next. Thank you guys so much for watching this ranking that I've been promising for quite a while. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.